For this app, we're going to make a small diary application. Let's call it My Diary. And we are going to have a label for when we're going to get a little fancier this time around. We're going to rename it My Diary. <laughs> Or, yes, my diary. My daily thoughts. Well, could be what shows. We're going to have a label for the current date and time. So that's all about the current time window. And we want a text box so that we can enter. Let's make this a little bit wider. In fact, let's go back up here and let's look at the, make this gray. We can make the text white. So we can make the text a whole lot of different colors. Let's make it white. And let's bold it so it's easy for us to see. The text box will get as big as necessary. Let's go ahead and make it um, 100 pixels. So we know if we need to say more than just one line, we've got it. And let's also add two buttons. We can use a screen arrangement here. And we typically make those as wide as the parent and we put go back up to our basic components and put the buttons in the horizontal arrangement. Now we have to edit them one at a time styling, anything like that, it has to be done one at a time. We're going to call this one our save button, and the text that's going to show, well, I can, I can say okay, it's going to say save daily entry, and let's make that a little bit higher. And I'm going to make that about 50 pixels high. There. Make the font bold. Now for the second one. Let's go ahead and make that 50 pixels high. Button. Okay, and I think we're ready to go over to the blocks editor. Now, the first thing we want to do is just decide whether or not we're going to save an empty text box. It's probably not too efficient. So, let's um, attach to our save button click event, a test, and to do that we want an if statement, and it's going to, our logic is going to save the text box if it's not empty. So we want to put the not up there, 
and decide whether the text is empty or not. If it's not, we want to trim it. Make sure it's back down to nothing. <laughs> to, to just basically what an empty text box should look like. Back over to the box editor. Now we're going to want to store the value. Oh, there we go, right there. And we're going to want to put our time in there as our tag. And we are going to want to put our text in there. A text. We're going to want to define a variable. that makes a list and we're going to call this entry date list it is going to make a list so now if we go back over to our blocks or we can go to our list and we have right there add items to the list. We're going to add the item to our entry date list and it is identified by this tag so we're going to and do that. Now we want to call our procedure again, even though we do not want these two. Here we go. We want a text tag. That says list and it is going to be our entry date list and then finally we want to set our text box back to being just In our screen initializes we do want to make sure that our database is called up so we set our entry date list to our database to ensure that it gets called up and we're done.